People like people who are authentic and who are themselves. No one can come close to how good you can be at being yourself. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nahama and this is Realization, the perfect place for those looking to grow, live authentically, and realize their potential. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button right down below and the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video, I put out new videos every single Sunday. So jumping straight into it, as you saw from the title, today we're going to be talking about why it's always worth it to be yourself. There are many reasons why someone would want or maybe even think that they want to be like someone else, maybe even to avoid being themselves and not even to try and copy someone else. Behaviors like this usually stem from an unhealthy sense of self or an unhealthy sense of self in relation to others or the world around them. We all have a tendency to be someone we're not at times and try to protect ourselves from rejection at times. And that's normal, it does give us benefits. It's just that keeping that to a minimum is important for living a happy life that's true to who you really are. So let's give ourselves five solid reasons why it's always worth it to be yourself. Number one is when you're fully yourself, you attract people into your life that are gonna like you for you for who you are and for what you're putting out there in the world. If you try to be someone else, you'll never be able to keep that up anyway and do it well consistently. When you're yourself, you may have some people that don't like your personality or just don't vibe with you or even have some kind of issue with you, but there will be other people who will love who you are, connect to who you are, love your personality, and honestly, they're gonna be the overwhelming majority because in general, people like people who are authentic and who are themselves. So it's really okay if some people don't like you because the people that like you will love you. Number two is just that practically, pretending is really tiring. Just for this alone, it's not worth it to try and be someone that you're not. You'll wear yourself out, you'll constantly feel drained, and you'll just be living a life of exhaustion because it's very tiring to pretend. So life is busy, we have so much life to live, ain't nobody got time for that, you know what I mean? So it's too tiring, it's too exhausting, don't let that drain your energy and who you really really are. Number three is you probably won't ever be truly happy. If you're in a world that you don't really belong in, don't connect to the people around you, in a society that you don't feel you belong in, you're acting in ways that you don't believe in, and overall trying to be someone you're not, the jobs, the friends, the opportunities, the relationships, everything that comes to you won't really be suited for you and make you happy. When you're fully yourself, the right opportunities will come to you and they'll make sense for you. And they'll actually be things that you want and conducive to the life that you want to live, which is really what we all want. For example, if you're an artist kind of personality and you're trying really hard to fit into a corporate world, a corporate environment, you might be happy that it's good money or it works for you in other ways, but if every day you wake up and you feel miserable and you go to work and you just hate your job and you feel like you're in an alien world that no one understands you and you just can't connect to anyone around you, you're trading that benefit of money or status or whatever reason you took that job in the first place for your personal well-being and happiness and that is never worth it. The things we think we want are why we pretend but we only end up hurting ourselves. So next time you have an opportunity or you have something that comes into your life and presents itself to you and it just doesn't feel right to you and you know that it's gonna take away from who you are and the life you wanna live and it just doesn't make sense for you, have the courage to say no to it and find something that's better suited for you because you'll be a lot happier in the end. Number four is you'll never be as good at being someone else than you can be being yourself. Who you are is innate to you and therefore you have the ability to be the best possible version of yourself because you have that power. As hard as you try, being someone else is gonna take a lot more hard work and effort and you probably won't even come close to being as good as a person who naturally is that way that you're trying to be. So accept who you are and be the best you you can be because no one can come close to how good you can be at being yourself. Number five is you can really harm yourself in the process of trying to be someone that you're not. After a while of pushing away those thoughts, feelings, and behaviors of your mind, body, relationships, and life, you probably have damaged yourself in that process. 
it can be really difficult to survive that kind of self-rejection and learn to find yourself again. Of course, if you are at that point, it's possible and it's recommended that you try and get back to yourself. But just as an encouragement to stay true to who you are, if you're not yet down that road, just know that you'll be saving yourself a lot of heartache later. No one really ever wants to lose their values, their core personality, and probably some really great things they've had in their life before they tried to throw it away and be someone else. It's a really dangerous path to go down and sometimes we don't even realize that we're doing it while we're doing it. So I hope that this is just a reminder that self-rejection is a very powerful form of rejection and sometimes we focus more on the external, like someone rejected me, but what about me? What if I reject myself? That's a rejection your heart is not gonna get over quickly. And so it's important that we stay focused on doing what's best for our lives by staying true to who we are and never trying to be someone that we're not. So those are my five reasons why I think it's always worth it to be yourself. I hope the ideas in this video will help you stay true to who you are and live your life authentically and happily. Give this video a thumbs up for me and if you found it valuable and helpful, share it with a friend who you think can benefit from it too. Leave me a comment and let me know which of these five reasons resonated with you the most. You can also leave any video suggestions you have down below. I love hearing from you and I love to make videos that you appreciate. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.